Welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'll be doing reading for you from uh, the 17th to the 23rd of October. What a fantastic week. Don't you feel it? Don't you feel that it's going to be a fantastic week? I do. Absolutely. So, this week, um, when I did it last month, um, I wrote Achieving Your Miracles. Um, letting things and people fall away that are no longer on track with that. And, um, and it says that they, you may have less surrounding you, as in people, but if they're not the right people, then all that remains is the quality. And that's what you really have to focus on. Okay? So let's take three cards to see what the general um, feeling for the week are going to be. Okay, so the full brand new adventure. Lovely. Brand new adventure. You're, um, I would look at your November. I did the November. Beautiful month. Absolutely gorgeous. You're really going to be living in the now. You're going to really understand what that means. Okay? So I think you're working towards this. The last couple of weeks. It's just doing the last remaining cleaning and uh, getting it done. Pisces. Getting it done. All right. So you have four cards that come in, and you know, I knew this was going to come out. It came out this morning as well, but I really think it's like, like I said, the last remnants into like celebrating, figuring out who your team is, okay? There's two people in complete harmony together dancing, um, seeing results, celebration, teamwork. So you're, you're veering away from the... Uh, the, the distressed and feeling overwhelmed feeling that certain energies or people or situations bring in. And then it's really contemplating where you want to go to next, okay? So I feel this is like you're, you're ready for it, you're doing the rest of the work, bringing in those and the situations and people that make you feel good, bringing them close, and, you know, just kind of... I don't know, getting your priorities straight, I feel, for the energies you want surrounding you to help you move forward in your life. Okay, so, you have to excuse me, I have like all kinds of little and stuff. I've been playing in my tomato plants, so, um, no worries, it's just, uh, well, I don't think it's anything to be worried about, it's just cuts and scratches and stuff, because I always like to fight with my plants, especially tomato plants, I brought them in from the cold, and, uh, and they were all intertwined with each other, so they re they didn't want to let go. So the good news is, is I planted them in pots together, so the ones that were intertwined stayed intertwined. I always think that's a good thing, and uh, but it was still quite the chore. So just on the update of you know you see this and that, it's just <laughs> it's just playing with dirt. Um, all right, so let's see here. Let's see what these beautiful cards have to say. I picked a Nordic Tarot because if we're getting into the colder season and um, yeah, I'm going to start taking my, what I call my winter decks out. So these are going to be the cards that I'm going to be, we're going to be working with this week. All right, so what's the work that we need to be doing this week, Pisces? Oh, it just came out. Look at that, the Wheel of Fortune, the Faith. What you are meant to be doing. Where you're meant to be going. It's, it's perfect, and it's exactly what it feels like. Like, November's coming in, and it's, um, I think it's really going to be directing you to where you want to go and what you want to be doing. So, you're fated for things when you come here. There are things that, there's there's a lot of leeway. I would say like it's a very loose map with some major points that you kind of have to work on when you come here in your journeys on the planet. Any journey, it probably. Um, I don't know enough because they don't give you enough information on that. But enough information to know that there's a general plan of action. Things that you should look at. Things that you should be working on when you come in these lifetimes. And this very much has to do right now 
with the faith of the direction and what your life should be taking. And I feel that a lot of you are going to be taking up that challenge. Okay? I don't believe that you have a certain time and if that window goes, you lost it. I do think that there are key times in your life, though, that offers you great opportunities for growth. So I would most certainly, okay, open up my mind to it and see if, if you're getting signs and indications from people, from situations, uh, from even the planet that are trying to tell you something. You know, something that keeps repeating, something that keeps telling you, you know, like it's in the wind. You can hear it. It's calling you to to be part of it. All right, so I'm going to take a map of the Enchanted Oracle. All right. Protecting treasure. All right. So there's two ways that I see this card. First of all, 39, 11, 9, no, no, 13, sorry. It's a, uh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Three. Okay. <laughs> Jay's getting excited. Okay, so 39 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, so it's a reconnection. Okay. Protecting treasure could be either as you don't want to... Um, it's very fearful to let go of the status quo. Sometimes you're afraid that the rain is going to cause some un undue problems. Okay. The thing is, is that you are protecting... If you look at this, okay, the light is shining from the stone that is not protected from from your umbrella, okay? What truly shines inside of you doesn't need any protection. It's already there, and it's available for you at any point in time. Protection is something that we like to put on our on our belongings, on ways of thinking, on etc, etc. The things that we put value on but don't necessarily have value. This is a time for you to not always be, as I was talking about in November, and not just focusing on the end goal or the end game, but focusing on the right now and what is special and what is important and what is um, energetically already available abundantly to you. Okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is... You don't want to be missing it. That's that's all I'm saying. So that we're going to work on that, working on what presently is of a treasure to you and how to really protect it by um, living it, okay? The way that you can protect the treasure is by living it every day, by acknowledging that it's already in, in your life, okay? So that's the work. The spiritual guidance message. Let's see. Okay. So you have the fool, and the it came out this way. Okay, and it's new beginnings. And you also have the fool here. So it's double the fool. The reason that it's coming in in reverse, however, is I feel that the spiritual guidance is that you have to get past the stuff here, okay? The situations, the conditioning, the people, the environment, whatever is blocking your way, you need to get past that to in order to start your new beginning, to really embrace it and go with it. You can't do a new beginning in fear. That's for sure. Like with this protection, you know, thinking, oh, I've got to protect myself at all costs from every single thing. Even if you try, it rarely, um, yeah, it rarely happens. Look at the storm feels. Okay. So both of these are really, that is what I said. Okay, the impending, you cannot protect from the impending storms of life most of the times, especially these. This is like a tornado. There's there's not much you can do except for take shelter and know that you've got this. I mean, if you live somewhere that has, you know, tornadoes, it's not a guarantee that um, you'll go out okay, but most people have storm uh, uh, shelters to take refuge in, okay? 
and if you have everybody you love, your family, your dogs, etc., and you uh, take shelter from the storm with everything that's important to you, which is not the possessions around you, it's so, it's, they're making such a point of saying that it's not about what surrounds you, but it's what's inside of you and what's really important. The love in your heart. The people you have in your life right now. Okay? People who survive these, I would, I would be thinking, they'd be thinking, I have another day with the people that I love and that's truly a blessing and a gift. I have another day on this planet to walk around and make my dreams come true. It's truly a blessing and a gift. If I live in fear of every single thing, I'm not going to live at all. But if I take granted of the fact and I don't pay attention to what's important, I'll never be living at all either. So there's like a double double thing here. Okay, so the storm feels... In this case, though, you can see it coming. So you have a choice on what to do. Are you going to protect the house? Are you going to be like boarding up everything... Uh, at the last minute and forget to take care of what's important, which is you and the people you love, are you going to let some things just go and still be grateful no matter what happens? I think that I'm, I'm positive that's the message they're trying to bring in here. Okay? Storm feels. There's a message they want to say too, as well here. We spend all of our lives protecting ourselves or others or people from losing them or, you know, death and whatever. And sometimes we just forget to live and be happy with the people that we have for the time that we have them. We spend the rest of our life either regretting when they're gone or trying to save them when they're sick. Stuff like that. Why don't you just spend the time? I mean, it's all good in that to protect and stuff and, and take a degree of organization, which is important. It's not like throw caution to the wind. It's more of um, don't miss the opportunity to love when you have it. Don't miss the opportunity to love. Absolutely. Okay, so what's the block this week? A spiritual guidance message is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. The Five of Swords, wow, big, 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 strong. Yeah, you're trying to get through this conflict. Something here is going to, yeah. And I had written it. I had written it in the agenda. I knew this was coming because I went, achieving your miracles, but letting things and people fall away. And I wrote, less people now, but quality remains. So, I feel that's that's the last remaining conflict. Finally just saying, okay, that's enough. That's enough now. The other part they want you to know is that when you spend your time giving certain situations and people your attention in fear and in anger, you're taken away from the people who who should get your attention. Do you understand? Right. Look, you're going to meta metamorphosis. So you have to, this is what I feel, you're going to be switching that up and changing it into something different. Yeah. There's that, uh, yeah, coming out of the cocoon. You're just about to take flight. So I think there's like a, a catalyst here this week at some point where you're going to go, okay, this is this is enough. That's that's it. I'm done with this. It's time to move on. It's time to um to solve this problem, solve this conflict, um this tension and do the full change, the full transition to I've got to be moving on. I've got to stop feeling this way. I can't do it anymore. I feel it's about, I, I feel very much you're showing me somebody standing their ground, putting both feet on the ground, and just, you know, giving a shout, an energetic shout that that does like the wave of sound, a vibration that kind of clears the room. That's what they're showing me. So it's um it's very sci-fi, but it's it's understood. It's like clearing the room 
with a vibration of sound from the voice of enough. You know, like, enough. It's like clearing the energies completely so that you have a free and clear way of where you're wanting to be going. Because you really want this, but it's stopping somewhere here this week. So this needs to be dealt with. Oh, most absolutely. This conflict needs to be dealt with. So, yeah. yeah sorry, Pisces, I'm not going to sugarcoat it this week. Your miracles are going to happen. That's the first sentence that I wrote. But there's some work to be done here. Okay? You need to clean your vibration. And it's your vibration. It's your choice. It's what you're doing with it. Okay, so how is the past affecting you? Let's see. The Magician. Mastery. Okay. So your past has been getting you ready for this. The Mastery card is absolutely telling you that you've been working towards this. Absolutely. Everything that you've been doing in your life has been leading up to this point. You've gotten the tools to do it, and it's time for you to do it. And I feel that within yourself, deep inside, you know. You know you're ready. You know you're ready. There's just so many times that you can repeat the same stagnant, bullcrap situation um, until that, that, that something inside of you snaps. And I really feel that vibrational shout that I saw is that it's that snapping point for you. It's almost like the point of going, I just don't care. I'm doing it. And I don't care whether you like it or not. I don't care if the situation fits or not. I'm doing it. I feel that you're getting a great big push inside of yourself to, to do stuff. Yeah, details, details. Okay, so in this case, let me see what that says. Clarity. You see that on this card? Clarity. Important notes. Okay, so... Just the fact that they're saying that there's a compass, details, details, clarity, uh, 43, 7, again, you had the metamorphosis, 25, that's 7. You're doing a lot of assessing this week, okay? But this assessment here with the magician and how the past is affecting you is that you have all the details you need, you have the clarity that you need to move forward. You just need to check your mental notes. I feel like it's your mental notes, your written notes, all the work that you've been doing, it's, it's time to use. It's time to use them now. It is time. You may have been accumulating for a couple of years. You've been, you may be have accumulated them your entire life. That's most likely. <clears throat> or more likely. But definitely. Mm. I needed a drink there, Pisces. I'm, I'm running out of steam here. Okay, next up, your magic. Ooh. You're working hard, my precious Pisces, but you're going to get there. You're going to get what you need. What wanted to, to, to uh, stability, four of pentacles, yeah. That was, that just jumped, but didn't jump out of the deck. Um, so... Keep in mind what you are considering stability. It's It might show up in your mind, uh, especially if you're trying to change your situation. Okay, Page of Pentacles. New experiences. This is what actually did come out. What you need right now is you need to have... You feel you need a new experience in your life. A new direction. A new way of going. That is drive. That is the driving force right now in your life. The fool coming out twice with this one, most definitely. It's it's kind of saying, I need to move forward. I need to do something different. I feel the passion and the energy building up though, Pisces. And like I said, if you haven't seen um, if you haven't seen the um, the November reading, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and watch it, okay? Yeah, there's a solitude, but it came out in reverse, and I usually don't do this, but I am going to do it this time. Okay? I feel that you're coming out of a time of solitude. I think that you're coming out of a time of hermit. Um, 
I think that you're done with that. I think that you're you don't want to be doing it anymore. And I'm looking and yeah, there is a reverse to this deck. And I don't do reverse in oracles, but I am going to. You're coming out of a time of solitude. Okay. So, and that's going to be your magic. To, to break out of your shell. Okay. Even if it's a, um, I, yeah, I'm hearing some of you going, well, I'm, I don't know, I don't like people much. Um, and you know, it's not, it's not that you're bad. It's just that when we're empathic, it's hard to deal with a lot of energies that come in. And that's why we, sh a lot of us shy away from big crowds. Um, but this is on a smaller scale. This is putting yourself a little bit back out there. Okay. But I don't feel it's that much of an old situation. I feel this is a newish, newish situation. But we'll just leave it at that. And when the day magic comes, we will look at, we will look at it. Okay. So your spiritual message, your roundup. Let me see here. It's very interesting that that, and I needed to leave it there. And you know what? It's just a reflection. That's the other part that's coming through. So there's a reflection here. Solitude is the, it's the reflection of the moon. It's uh, all I hear. It's an illusion. So we'll have to see. We'll look. Okay. Okay. So this one came out. The Eight of Pentacles. Opportunities. Opportunities. Opportunities are coming in. Eight of Pentacles. Quality stuff. Quality work. Busy getting your ducks in a row. Figuring things out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, these cards almost fell all the way down to the ground. It shuffled quite nicely, though. Okay. Peaks of joy. All right. So you're going to be working. Yeah, you're going to be. And look at this, guys. Look. That almost looks like the Fool's Mountain. And what is this? It's like she's floating off of it. She's she's finally taking that step. Contemplating where are you going next. There's that butterfly again. The metamorphosis taking shape. Um, yeah, you're going, you are definitely going in the right direction by the end of the week. Um, and I'm going to let them uh, do the spiritual message at the end of the week. I'm not going to, I usually don't say too much on these because I like leaving it to the roundup of whatever they want you to hear by the end of the week, Pisces, okay? So, I'm going to take a couple of cards at the top, see what that has to say. And we're going to call it a weekly. Oh, there you go. The two cards came out. All right. So there you go. Rescue. You want to start a new journey. You are looking out. And again, a seven. Can't make that up, you guys. Okay. So you are... You're looking a way out of the situation, okay? You're looking for new shores. You're looking for something new. Absolutely. You want out of this, out of this uh, painful situation, this, oh my God, this is so hard, to a better place, to a much better way, to a better place. And coming to life. Coming to life. 11, master number, right? Yeah, I can't make that up, guys. Okay? It's time to grab it. Grab that orb. Grab that light. And where was it? That light. It is a crystal. The protecting. She got it in here. Okay? It, it's all, it all ties in together. This is the Contemplate card. The, the Two of Wands. Thinking innovatively. 
of your choices and the progress to discover new ways of oh God. I'm going to Star Trek on you. New worlds, new lives, blah, 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 all of that stuff. It is most definitely this. You are going to be discovering who you are, who you truly are. And this is just the remnants of what's left. The doors you need to close. And I'm not saying forever, but maybe for now. In order for you to move forward so that your energy can lift higher and that you can actually go where you need to go and do what you need to do to start moving forward in the present moment. And, and walk away from those energies that are sucking the life out of you right now. Okay? So we're going to be looking at this in depth this week. If that interests you, please make sure to subscribe. Um, I do two readings every day. You can watch one or both. You're not missing one for the other. Um, they're just, they're standalone. But if you watch both, you definitely get more uh, wisdom from spirit. All right. Thank you so much. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. And that's it for me for today. Take care.